What's up, Word Nerds? My name's Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Sunday, July 14th. If you guys are new to the channel, I play Wordle Connections, the mini crossword and strands every single day. So feel free to subscribe if you would like to see that. For returning viewers, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It would really help out a lot. You can get access to a lot of exclusive content. Also, I haven't talked about this in a while, but I do have a chess channel where I'm playing chess every single day. There's a new video. There's a link in the description to that. Um, I'm currently on the road to getting a thousand subscribers over on that channel uh, to try to get the channel monetized. Uh, currently at almost 200, so we still got a long ways to go. But that channel is doing a lot better than uh, than I thought it would. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and begin the games today. We'll start with Wordle, and we will start by selecting a random word from Wordle's answer list for me to use. Let's see what random word I get today. Stool. Okay, we will, we will use stool today. Let's see what stool gets me in Wordle. An O. There is an O in this word. We know there's only one O because they both didn't light up, and we know the O is not going to be in the third or fourth position. So, this could be something O, something E-R, like this, like boxer, or poker, or rower, power. We could go with power, although that might have been an answer already. We'll try it anyway. Okay, that is not the format, or not the structure of the word. Um, okay, so maybe this starts with O. Otherwise, it would have to be uh, something that ends in E-O. We could, we could, I have all the letters we can put in Cameo, but we just had that the other day. So we know that's not going to be the answer. Um, so I think because the O can only go first or last, I'm going to try it first. It's not going to be, well, no, there's no R in the word. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, can't be ocean because the E is in the wrong place. Um, I mean, it could be E O at the end. I just can't think of I can't think of uh, any words that end in E O. Um, I mean, I could put in cameo, knowing it's not going to be the answer today, just to get information on the O and other letters, but. Hmm. E A. How is this gonna end? Oxen. No. <laughs> um. Uh, my brain's hurting right now. Oh, I guess I could have a U in here. O U. Maybe not. I don't get this one. Try the out the end again, uh, and then I think if I can't come up with anything, I'm just gonna put in cameo just to find out where the O goes. Um, it's not gonna be rodeo. Oh, it can't be. There's not two O's anyway. No R. Um. Yeah, I'm stumped. <laughs> I am stumped. Uh. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna go with cameo. Just cannot come up with any word here. This is I want to check out Squirtle after this. It does end in O, so I mean, okay, now I know that, but gosh, man, what word is gonna fit here? What in the world? Try D E O like this, because there's not gonna be vowel. There's not gonna be a vowel here, right? There's no way. So D E O. I just can't, I, I can't, I don't get this one, guys. I might have to do something that I normally don't do. Uh, I, I don't want to sit here forever. Um, I'm going to be sitting here for another 10 minutes, guys. Uh, I don't want to do that, so I'm probably going to have to just go off of hard mode and just put in a word that, uses five unique letters or something. Um, this is insane. I, I, my, I don't get it. I do not understand what's going on here. Oh, it's just video. 
that's upsetting. It's very upsetting. Um, okay. Well. All right. Um, let's go ahead and check out Squirtle here because I want to see what was possible. I'm just mad at myself for not getting that one. Um, video. Uh, let's see. Uh, stool. I put in power next. And then I put in cameo third, but let's see. Oaken, oaked, cameo, video, and then a bunch of other random stuff. So basically cameo and video. And of course we just had cameo the other day. Video, it's a word you see all the time. Like it's, it's a very, very common word. So I, I just, I could not come up with it for some reason. All right, well, uh... I don't know. Now that that happened, the fact that I just overlooked something easy like that. I don't know. Like my confidence level for today's games has gone down tremendously. Uh yeah, no, it's upsetting. That's all I can say is like I get really 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 upset and I just I need I need to figure out a way to not get like really mad at myself for for not knowing things. Um but okay, let's just try to try to move on from that. I mean, that's the biggest lesson that I've had to really work on is um, making a mistake, missing something obvious, like how to move on from that. I don't want to spend too much time talking about that, um, but let's just go ahead and move on. Let's play the games and let me try to do my best and that's that. Okay, so there's a lesson there, but that, the lesson is to not get mad at yourself and to, to move on from, from a mistake. All right. Here we go. Connections, July 14th. Let's get started. See what words we have today. Fine butter, mint dough, point line, fair trade. Okay. Fair good, maybe? Fine. Like it's okay. Um... I don't know. I see that they're they're doing rhyme things here, though. They got fine line, pine, and tine. Also, fine line is a thing. Um, fair trade. Is it? Okay. Brazil looks like the only, like, country or place on here, as far as I can tell. So that's probably going to be, okay, that's probably in the purple category, probably uh, a blank or something there. I don't, I don't know any phrases with, with Brazil in it. Um, so a prong and a tine are like the same thing on like a fork. Are they going with like tip there and point? Is that what they're going for? I think so. We'll try it. Slender projections. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I, I don't think I've ever heard of the word tine before. Uh, before, like, this past month or so when we had it in a mini crossword or a... I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was a big crossword. I don't remember. Um... So, like, that's something I didn't, I just always thought of it as a prong. Or maybe it was in Connections. I don't remember. Anyway. Good, fair, and fine. Is there another one? Not sure. Butter, dough... I don't, I don't know. I bet that one of these words means good. I just don't know it. Like pine or something. <laughs> pine probably has a meaning and I don't know what it is. Mint. Mint. No, I don't have anything for mint. 
Okay. What's the quality of butter? Like what, what can I say about butter? Maybe butter goes in the purple one. Man, they, uh, for some reason, I just, I've been struggling with connections recently. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be a tough one today or not, but uh, I'm not doing well. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see one. Your trade, business, and field. I think, right? Like your occupation, your line of work, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I like that one. It is right. Profession. Okay. Wow. That was uh that was tough for me to see. Um Okay. Maybe mint. They always say like mint condition. Maybe that means fair, good, or fine. Uh, yeah, we'll try that. Conditions for collectibles. Oh, so it's just they're all just conditions. Okay. Well, dough, butter, pine in Brazil. What is this category? Hmm, let me think for a second. Brazil. Mm, I don't get it. Um, no, I don't get it. What is it? Words before nut. Uh, Brazil nut? What is that? Butter nut? Okay, butter nut. Dough nut. Okay, fair. Pine nut? I don't know what Brazil nut or pine nut are, I don't think. I look those up. Brazil nut. Brazil nut's just a type of nut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um Pine nut. Also just a type of nut. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, no, I just did not know that. <laughs> I didn't even come up with butternut or donut. I didn't, I, I did not think about either of those things. And yeah, I just, I was never going to get the purple one. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy that I got the three that I got today. That was, uh, that's good enough for me. So let's go ahead and move on to, uh, the mini crossword. Just give me a second and, uh, we'll get started over there. Okay, here we go. Mini crossword. Sunday, July 14th. Here we go. TV character who says, Weaseling out of things is important to learn. It's what separates us from the animals except the weasel. Never heard that before. No idea what it's from. Windy City Airport. Mm -hmm. What is the airport in Chicago called? I have no idea. I... I, I know I've probably heard of this before, but I cannot recall. The only one in the song Tequila is Tequila. The only one in the song Tequila is Tequila. The only lyric? It, wait, is this a song that the only thing that they say in the song is Tequila? 
I'm gonna have to listen to that. Uh, crypto lead in to coin. Crypto, I should know this. I'm really like into crypto, so um, why is this not coming to mind? Crypto lead in to coin. Bitcoin coin, and it's not Bitcoin. Um, what does that mean? Okay, I guess I don't get it. <laughs> Uh, take the court, sue, right? Sue, S-U-E, right? Waits for customer service re representative, say. Uh, is it like, please hold? Is it holds? Ah, uh, let me see. Might not be. I don't know. Eight across. I don't know. Um, don't make me blush. Oh, you. TV character says, I forgot to clean the limp basket in the dryer. If someone broke into the house and did laundry, it could start a fire. What is, it? What is this from? <laughs> Are these from the same thing? Shallowest of... The Great Lakes. Well, I know the Great Lakes. It, it's nice living in Michigan because I, 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 I know all the Great Lakes. Um, eerie. Video camera button. Record REC. I, I still don't know the airport, so... Krypton, crypto leading to coin. How do I not know this one? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, Homer? Is it Homer? Oh, I guess if, if this is Holds. Homer Simpson, I guess. Oh, Doge? Wow. O'Hare and Marge? I'm guessing these are both Simpsons. Marge Simpson, Homer Simpson. O'Hare. No, I didn't know that. Lyric, Dogecoin. I just totally forgot that Doge thing was a thing. OU. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, That was a little tough for me. I'm surprised I actually ended up finishing it. I was going to give up there. But then I thought of Homer with the O, the E, and the R. Okay, nice. Well, we got it. So now we can go ahead and move on to our final game here, which will be strands. Let's see how I do on that one. Okay, let's get started. Strands, July 14th. What is the theme today? Say my name. Walter White. Breaking Bad. Um, say my name. I can't think of anything other than that. Uh, say my name. Uh, okay, so it's gotta be... Hmm, it's gotta be what? Just names of people? But what What names of people? Homer <laughs> Simpson? <laughs> Can we make Marge here? Almost. Um, Rust. Hmm. Lane. Hair. Okay, so I'm getting some of these basic words out of the way so I can use a hint because I'm absolutely going to need a hint on this one. Um. Molly. It's a name. Polly. 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 
Okay. There's all the clues I need for today. Um, I, I mean, I have no idea where to even begin here, if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh... Like, I'm assuming these are people's names that are probably also words. Because they don't do proper nouns on here, I feel like. They do, like... Like, if they do things that are names of people, they're also, like, words that have other meanings. Oh, there's something story here. No, that's not it. Uh, what is this? PETA? ATEP? Pete. Pete. Okay, so it's it's name homophones. So if it's homophones, then the word homophones probably just on here. Okay, so it's just homophones. They've had this before where like the theme or the spangram was just homophones. So Okay, so so now that I know it's homophones, that, that might make this doable. So I had to use a hint to get started here, but um Hmm. Pete. W w Winnie. Okay. Russell. Then. Mo moat. Tome. Mota. At oh, Adam. Okay. Um. Harry. Phil. There's two left, so probably just four letter words. Uh, Gail. Mary. Okay. Yeah, no, I did not get that one at first. Did not understand that, but that, that was, I mean, that, that's an interesting one. It's a good one. I like it. I like the cleverness of it. Uh, just, just tough for me to get started on it, but no, it was fun. Uh, no, all in all, um, everything was good today, but I felt like I struggled a lot more than usual. Uh, maybe the puzzles were just a little bit tougher, but uh, still fun. Always important to uh, try not to let the my mistakes or overlooking things, try not to let it bother me. That's sort of the, the big thing that I got to do. Um, so yeah, that's why I do ask that you guys keep things positive in the comments and, you know, try to lay off me a little bit if I make mistakes because... Uh, I'm, yeah, that's basically all I can ask for. Um, so, hope you guys all uh, did well on these. Leave a comment. Let me know how you guys did. Hope you guys all, all have a great rest of your day. And I'll be back tomorrow to play these games again. Have a good one. See you guys next time.